What's up guys, it's Gina. Welcome uh, to another LBA battle. <clears throat> this is actually, um, God, that was a horrible start. Alright, we're just gonna restart that. Alright, can I get my music back? There we go. Um, round 17. Round 17, round 17, round 17. What's up guys, it's Gina. Welcome back to another LBA battle. This is in fact round 17. Um, heaven versus my buddy Rudy, aka Green Scrafty, um, owner of the Chattanooga Chestnuts. And there were some questions on the last video about how my record got to nine and seven, or nine and six rather. Um, it was because a couple of people dropped out, and uh, one of my opponents just straight forfeited. Like they saw this power. <laughs> now nah, I'm playing. Um, well, one of my opponents just straight forfeited, so or two of them actually. So uh, one of the people that I lost to uh, dropped. So that ended up becoming a 3-0 win for me, and. Uh, you know, ended up picking it up an auto win versus somebody because they forfeited. So that's how my record got to the legendary nine and six. It's now ten and six. And um, as I said, face my buddy uh, Rudy. Um, looking at his team, he actually has a kind of threatening team that gets kind of run over by Halucha. For being completely honest, because um, after I get to plus two and rocks are on the field, it's a snack grab. Um, he has Chestnut. He has Mega Gallade. He has By Sharp. He has Venomoth which is dangerous for like quiver passing and regular Gardevoir or Victini and looking at my team I have um, Unaware Clefable which just like stops half of his team uh, we have Choice Scarf Excadrill which is a little bit unfortunate because Victini outspeeds it if it's uh, Jolly or Timid um, if, and uh, assuming it's Scarf then I also brought Inte because I figured priority would be very nice for picking off a lot of his setup sweepers um, then we have uh, DD, Sub DD Mega Gyarados, we have SD Halucha, and we have Gothitelle to trap Chestnut potentially if I do want to try to win with Gyarados. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and kick this one off, and uh, you guys will see how this went. Um, also, shout out D Train for recording this because he's, he's an awesome guy, he's a stud. Anyway, so he ends up leading Victini as I end up leading with Clefable because uh, my team name was uh, actually named after like the first couple of lyrics in You Alive by. Uh, uh, I, I think it's ASAP Rocky. Um, anyway, it, it's like, bitch, I'm out here grinding. Anyway, I'm just gonna go and get my rocks up as he ends up be turning out, which is extremely fine by me, and now you guys are gonna witness an extremely unfortunate turn of events. Do you remember all the hacks that happened earlier this year against me that, like, basically caused me to lose two games? Throwback to the Thunderbolt para, throwback to the Stone Edge crit. Well, I'm gonna click T-Wave right here. And before you guys be like, oh man, Geo, like, you're a complete jerk, you're just trying to, like, buy free turns with paralysis, that wasn't really my mindset here, because, uh, this thing is really my only stop to Venomoth, um, if it is running, like, HP ground, which really I wouldn't put it past it to have, um, so I needed a way to slow this thing down so I could revenge kill it, so that's why I T-waved. I'm just gonna put that out there right now, that is why I T-waved, it wasn't because I, I'm a dick. Like, it, it wasn't because, that, like, that's true, I am a dick, but it wasn't because of that reason. Anyway, I'm gonna drop a special attack right here as he ends up getting paralyzed, which is unfortunate for him. Very, very unfortunate. Anyway, Clefable is gonna keep throwing, basically, these planets, um, at this dude. He got, he got Neptune in this bitch, he got Venus, he got the moon, he got all the fucking stars out here. Anyway, he's gonna finally hit me with a sludge wave, or sludge bomb, rather, and that's gonna do a lot. So I know if I get hit with another sludge wave, sludge bomb rather god i'm gonna get this mixed up that uh, i'm gonna die but i'm gonna keep clicking t wave right here because the ultimate plan is to get halucha a free switch and if there's anything halucha can sd on it's this thing right here um so i'm gonna keep clicking t wave until he knocks me out with the sludge bomb and uh you know there, there was a point in the battle where you're like okay i think i have a pretty good chance um to win right here and uh, that was that chance for me because i'm gonna set, set up a sub right here as he gets fully paired um, and I'm gonna click SD, and really, as soon as I got to this point, I knew I won. It was just a matter of, is it gonna be a roll versus Victini or not? This second Swords Dance seals the deal. And as you guys see, it kinda goes down right here, because all I gotta do is set up one more sub. Um, if he clicks Bug Buzz and hits through my sub, then it's not that big of a deal as long as, as, long as he doesn't crit me, and uh, he gets fully paired, so... You know, I'm probably just going to speed this part up because it's a snack wrap. Anyway, um, if you guys did enjoy today's video, please make sure to leave a like. Because we love this sub show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, uh, which is, who do you think, um, 
let me think about this for a sec. Who do you think put in the most work in these last two games? I know it was a little bit disjointed um, because of all the things. And by when I say all the things, I mean the forfeit that would have been the previous round, but instead didn't actually end up happening um, because, you know, the person forfeited. So I'm going to count this as a week. It's going to be a little disjointed moving forward, but it's okay. Um, who do you guys think was the MVP? Halucha, uh, rounding out like the stats for this week, Halucha got five kills. No, Halucha got six kills, Clefable got two, Thunderous got three, and Excadrill got one. Um, so, you know, who do you guys think was the MVP? And with that, I urge you guys to subscribe. Is this going to be perfect? Is this his last mod? Anyway, uh, with that, I urge you guys to subscribe. If you guys are enjoying the constant content, I'm slowing down so that hopefully this replay can finish by the time I finish talking. Is that going to be it? No, he has one more. Anyway, with that, I urge you guys to subscribe. If you guys are enjoying the constant content, and with that, I shall catch you guys on the flip-flop. I, I actually don't know why that's my outro. Well, false. I know why it's my outro, but, you know, no biggie. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch you guys on the flip-flop.